At 22.16 hours, we got a call that a man was acting erratically in the store. He's acting like a maniac. When we arrived on the scene, the store had been emptied of its customers because of the behavior of this gentleman. It took us a while to control the situation, and there was some frustration involved. I had 23 incidences this week. I wouldn't go as far as to say epidemic. They're annoying. Fear not, plumber boy. The bandicoot will come. I'm coming to get you, pal. Hi, how are you? Am I on the right street? Can, can you tell me where Nintendo is? People run a lot here. This is really nice. Plumber boy, your time has come. Stop looking at me. What's wrong with these people? Never see a bandicoot before? Feld, <laughs> Joseph J. Joseph J. According to my research, you're in the market for a new game system. Are you aware, Mr. Feldman, that Sony's PlayStation has more than 150 games? NHL Face Off 97, Jet Moto, Tobal Number One, Destruction Derby 2, Crash Bandicoot. I could go on. I'm going to give you a personal demonstration. Get off my lawn, you freak. Come it up. Joseph J. If you forgot, you're supposed to eat stuffed crust backwards. With a ring of cheese baked right into the crust, it's the most fun you can have with a pizza. Right now, a large one topping is only $9.99. Pizza Hut, the best pizza is under one roof. Would you like to work here? I'm not housebroken. Hey, plumber boy, mustache man, your worst nightmare has arrived. Pack up your stuff. I got a little surprise for you here. Check it out. What do you think about that? We got real time, 3D, lush organic environments. How's that make you feel, buddy? Feel a little like your days are numbered? I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. You're hurting my elbow. Is that Italian? No, Bandicoot, it's an Australian name. Three incidences this Hey, how's it going? Just, just play some Crash Bandicoot. It's Crash Bandicoot 2. All right, checking audio balance, checking. Checking, checking, checking. I'll turn the game up a little bit. Alright, let's see about right here. Checking, checking. Checking, checking. Yeah, that'll probably be good. All right, just a little bit, but not much. Okay. I didn't mean to go into this menu. Checking, checking. Yeah. Like, I, I don't want to overdo it is the problem. Like, I'm a little bit paranoid, but I would rather err on the side of Slightly too quiet than slightly too loud. Oh, I accidentally unsuspended my thing. Okay, so where were we? We just did sewer or later. Now do bear bear down. Tap run before a jump for a greater distance. Also. 
I would I would like to issue the the BBC would like to issue a correction about last stream. I claimed that the human esque enemies were referred to as a uh, OBJ motherfucker internally. I think I was actually mistaken about that. See, they're called lab assistants. So basically, Naughty Dog referred to them internally as OBJ ass something. Like, like ass would be the prefix for, uh, would, ugh, would be the prefix for the assistant enemies. So it would be like OBJ underscore ass underscore something else. Except Naughty Dog knew exactly what they were doing, making the same expression Crash just made there. And, uh, we got such names as OBJ Ass Banger, and then eventually OBJ Ass Hole, as one would expect. I'm not sure. Oh, I gotta die. I'm not sure if OBJ motherfucker actually was a thing. I I may have I may have gotten that from internet osmosis. I may have gotten the incorrect answer. Now it, it could be still a thing. I'm I really am not sure at this point. You wonder if the remake continued this trend. I don't know. I mean I'm sure one could find out. If were they dedicated enough, which I am probably not. Uh, oh, yeah, that one looks like they're gonna lift it up, but they don't. These auto run levels are always tricky, very tricky. I mean, at least we're riding a bear and not like a, a hog this time, so that's something. Alright, crystal. Yeah, there we go. Except, contrary to what you may believe, we're not done here yet. God, that's repulsive. <laughs> why? Vicarious visions, why did you make Crash do that? Okay, so there's something else in this level, as you could probably tell. Oh, I mean, and, and why not? Why not make it a time? Oh well, I know why I shouldn't make it a time trial because that removes all the checkpoints. So never mind. Which makes this level especially painful. Yes. Uh. Uh, I, I'm not sure if they did it, but there is a company called Toys for Bob. Also, a little clarification uh, on something here. I played the uh, first Crash game via the Insane Trilogy on Switch, but what you're looking at now is all PC. Yes, because I now have beef computer. Ooh. Oh, there. I, I wasn't sure if I was going to make that one.
Okay, now, it's pretty obvious that there's something to this. So yeah, that's another one of the secret exits. Buy our strategy guide. So I guess I have to go into air crash. I guess that's the one I want. Oh, if you can hop on those, you can get some free one-ups. Okay, so there are crates on this path, so that's something to remember. Oh. So I probably haven't gotten the, the gem for this level yet. And should this be a, an, an exploit that would interest me... I would probably need to enter the level from this angle to accomplish it. Anything back here? Okay, no. So yeah, I guess this is gonna be the uh, all crates run of this level now. So let's get that done, get that out of the way. In the original PS1 games, this is the first game where you didn't have to do the whole thing in one go. But since I'm playing the Insane Trilogy version, you know, that applies for Crash 1 as well, except for the colored gems. Which, I mean, understandable, but having to beat every single level without dying to get all the gems was just a pain. And that's a big reason I, I never bothered beating the original Crash 1. Yeah, I think the slam is the only thing that'll do it. <laughs> this, this crate here is so rude. I mean, it's not actually as hard as it looks, but... Okay, so I don't think there's any crates on that path. <laughs> At least I hope. So just uh, blow all those up for me, if you would. Didn't blow the flower up? Well, that's a shame. That is very uncomfortable. I'm not a fan. Was the run move in Crash 1? By the run move, do you mean like an actual run or like the slide? Oh, there we go. Yeah, the slide is the thing I'm doing here. Yeah, uh, no, the slide is new to Crash 2.
And if Greeny is to be believed, which I have no reason to doubt him, uh, apparently there's an actual run move you get after beating the game, which normally is Crash 3 exclusive. Uh, the Komodo Brothers. Oh, I wanted to save first, but... Oh, no, wait, didn't I already fight the... I already fought these guys. Oh, yeah, 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 I already fought these guys. I knew something was a little fishy about all that. Went up a whole 5% though. Okay, what we got going on in here now? Bear down. Road to Ruin would be the next one. Clear gems often appear at the end of death routes. I am uh, going to take that as a hint, like a not so subtle hint that there's a death route. Oh, okay, so I think this is one of those levels where you have to come in from a secret egg entrance. So I might not worry about getting all the crates this run. I don't know. Yeah, big old Donkey Kong hit. Gotta wonder if that was on purpose, or if... <laughs> cool maneuver. You can also use the slide to kill enemies. I don't know if I ever demonstrated that. Here. Demonstrated. <laughs> yes, thank you. I... I'm glad that I just walked into a rat's behind and died. Later on, those monkey statues do some nefarious things. Oh, like right here, for instance. Oh, hey, a death route. I think I will. And no, it doesn't count if you haven't gotten a checkpoint. If you die... If you die and go back to the start of the level, the game treats it as if you'd never died. Which honestly is good because, I mean, you're effectively restarting the level anyway. Oh, cool. <laughs> okay, get some wumpas. Get some quick wumpas. Yeah, I feel like we're getting a couple Donkey Kong illusions here. Because I do believe a gorilla is over there throwing logs at me. I think you can spin the logs much like you can whip the uh, arrows in Spelunky, but it takes some killer confidence. Probably should have at least tried there. But never you mind. Okay. Be cool if I had a mask. Yeah, mask would be lovely for this.
Having, uh, having hit points is a luxury that I apparently cannot afford. Oh, something terrible happened here. Someone died. It was me. I died. Oh yeah, there you go. Maybe my fear was unfounded. Oh no, fear very founded! I just want to get the gym and go home. Oh yeah, Crash can crawl as well. I, I, I know I've demonstrated that a few times though. There are new moves within the Bandicoot arsenal. There might be uh, gems in the Bandicoot arse, but we're not going to talk about that. Don't want to ask Crash his trade secrets. Oh, I don't like the way these things operate. Oh, but there we go. Crystal obtained. No, that's not a crystal, that's a gem. Gem, crystal, uh, James. I kind of don't want to go back that way. But we know there's no crates on the death path. Actually, come to think of it, is this our first ruins level? It might be. Oh god, that was the closest thing in the known universe. I mean, I'm still gonna get whatever crates I see, even though I doubt that I'm gonna have the run this time. Well, oh yeah, well I mean, yeah, there was the spot off to the left, so yeah, I definitely doubt it, but... But I mean, if you see crates, you might as well get them. Monkey! Cyborg monkey! Yeah, I'm definitely missing a chunk. Yeah. So we just gotta come back here through a secret entrance. If we wanna get all the things. Wait, did I not get the... Did I not get the crystal? Well, I guess we're going back in. Because that is, uh, you know, the gem of plot advancement, so we kind of need that.
we're, we're just gonna speed run it. Yeah, because it's right here. <laughs> and I do think I have to beat the level in order for it to count. So pardon me while I do just that really quick. There we go. Well, after that embarrassing escapade. We go to unbearable. Having to play that level twice was unbearable. The giant bear opens a secret passage. Thank you. I mean, granted, I guess that's not quite giving it away because you don't know what exactly that means. But yeah, you you like boulder level? Well, this is a similar thing. Except Crash is now being chased by a wild animal intent on tearing him to shreds. Unfortunately for Crash, there is a... Uh, we're, we're quite well stocked on polar bears right now. We have a surplus. All right, here. I think, yeah, here. It's a... <laughs> this is another one of those, um... Oh, hey, look, it's, uh, it's ass banger. Well, that's not going to work. But yeah, it's another one of those, those, uh, go by our strategy guide moments. You know what I mean? Gotta just slam right through those. Oh, I got shot. Oh, I got... I mean, it's gonna happen a few times. Well, I don't think you have to get crushed by the piston, do you? Like, isn't that just a thing you can do? Yeah, break that. Yeah, okay, just tur turtles are not working out for me right now. Okay, that isn't working for me either. I 
just I just want to get through this part. Okay, so you can slide into those ones. It's just these one these ones you can't approach from the side, but those ones you can. Okay, there we go. No, no, no. That's a very slow bullet. I didn't... That was a, a waste of a mask. I, uh... I'm in fear for my life. I may have spun away some gems, but it's what I had to do. Uh, uh, get me out of here. Get me out of here. Get me out of this hell pit. <laughs> Thank you, platform, for smashing the rest of it. My OCD is satisfied. That wouldn't have actually bothered me, but you know. It's fun to pretend it would have. No, no. No, wait, that's the four nitros. Which, as we have established, you, you do that. Dun 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 uh, uh. Jane get me off this crazy thing Oh and we get we get this as a finale. Please don't miss any crates. Uh, oh, she took her with, took him with, with her. Crash is still just in utter terror. Things have been getting harder. I, I didn't even notice. No. Tiny tiger. He doesn't pay attention to his surroundings. Neither do I. He ain't special. Yeah, so that's what you do for this fight. You try to lure Tiny somewhere where he'll fall off the platforms.
Not too complicated. But you gotta line it up right. And obviously not fall off yourself. Oh, oh, whoop. Hang on. I just wanna scoot the window a little bit. Okay. Yeah, that's a tricky, that's a tricky part. <laughs> How rude. The tiny really deserve that. Play as Coco for a minute. Oh, no. All right, let's hang out. Yeah, I have been doing that. Man, that ass burns. Nope. Anything over here? No, not really. Alright, so here is the eponymous gimmick. I mean, we saw a little bit of this before, but now, now we're making a whole level around this. Oh, well, that was a good use of my everything. Well, that was a good use of my everything. <laughs> okay, that was that was my bad. I did that. Metal Gear Stealth seg Segment. God, I just can't do anything. There you go. Maybe that's why they're telling you to do it. this arrangement it is hard to gauge the positions of these guys when they are on the ceiling Can we get to a hundred lives? I forget what's back here. I mean, some lives, clearly.
Now, see, I didn't think that that missed me. And see, I wouldn't have thought that that was going to hit me. But I do kind of want to get through there to make sure there was not like a crystal or anything. If you could turn the camera, that would make this a whole lot easier. But this is a crash game, no camera control allowed. At least not until twin sanity. Okay, so that is not safe. That is good to know. That's where the not safeness starts. God, that is like, that is a tr tight, that is a tight fit. Oh yeah, also something I neglected to mention is that this is technically Coco's canonical debut. She, she's not supposed to be in Crash 1. I... Do we ever explain where the heck Coco even came from? God! Is there any like, are there any like masks in here? Like, I, I don't know if we established how Coco came into existence. Like, we obviously know Crash is like some kind of genetic experiment by Dr. Cortex. But I don't think we're ever given an explanation for Coco. She's just kind of there. Oh, there we go. And no, I think it's just for lives. I got an uh, I got an achievement for that though. But hey, I mean it's uh, oh no, it's a secret exit. Langton, you know what I meant. Oh god, totally fly. If this is if this level is what I think it is, we, we might be in for a bad time. Uh, I didn't mean to bring Crash back, but you know what? No, that's fine. Let's uh, yup, it is. Yup, I hate my life. Dark level. Let's go. Definitely want to get all the stuff in this level the first go through if I can manage it. Don't want to have to play this level any more times than necessary. It's probably not as bad as I'm making it out to be, but I just, I just inherently don't like dark levels. Like even if they're you know good dark levels, I, I'm just, I'm just not a fan. Come on, Firefly, come on. Did I did I miss something in here? 
Was it was it nitro? Yeah, it was nitro. I think it's like slightly easier to see in the remake because it has an actual lighting engine. Whereas the PS1 was just like, hey, let's just make everything pitch black. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what I expected, truthfully. Oh, dang, I didn't mean to get that guy right now. Because I need to smash these crates. And they know you want to do that. Yeah. Yeah. Basically, you don't want to touch that guy. You want to like, you want to like scout ahead and break the crates ahead of time. So that way you don't have to worry about it. There you go. Then you grab him and then you go on ahead. Oh, but that was a uh, that was a mess. At least they give you a your fair share of lives after you do it. <laughs> well, if nothing else, that's probably one of the worst levels in the game down the drain. And you know, honestly, it's not that bad. I I may have oversold it. Yeah, see, that's what I was talking about earlier. Of course, we have one other fully secret level to do later, totally bare, which may or may not be a reference to a brand of Barbie. Nobody's really sure. Hang on, it just, we just gotta ride all the way back to the top. Okay, hanging out. We need to we still need to do this level properly. I mean we got the crystal, so that's technically it beaten, but we need to get the gem as well. I need to I need to see if anybody's made a mod that restores the the howie scream. It, the new scream, while while more professional, just it's just not the same, man. It's just not the same. And we're getting close to to ninety nine lives. All right, let's get, let's hang. There were numerous jokes involving the word hang and related words I was tempted to make, but I figured none of them were in good taste. Oh, that's cool. 
Like I said, I, I have trouble seeing where those guys are when they're on the ceiling. You know, what they could have done for the remake, I understand on the PS1, but for the remake, what I would have done personally was give them like a faint red glow underneath or on top, technically. So th so it would glow when they were on top of the, the path so you could see where they were. Oh, well. We just got a deal. Okay, that didn't work. Okay, so yeah, this part... Herp. I mean, close. Every time I play this though, I'm gonna try and see if I can get on top of that. Because I have a feeling they don't want me to. And when you don't want me to get on top of something, that increases my urge to get on top of it. I know you're gonna hop. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yes! That allow you to climb the mountains in the Chow Garden. I have no no idea what that could be about. Oh. So definitely DM that to me on Discord. I definitely want to see what you're talking about there. Yeah, you definitely get a little bit of extra air if you spin. So, if you're wondering why I keep spinning in midair despite no obvious benefit, that 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 would be why. Hang on while I spend 5 years trying to do this bonus area. Finally. You know the drill. Gotta gotta wait out the, the blocks, the crates. There we go. Now to die to those nitros. No, I didn't, but I'm going to die to something equally stupid. I guarantee it. Oh, this time we get to see them blow up right in front of us. Yeah, so they figured they they thought they thought about it and they were like, "Wait a minute, if we uh if we, if we make blocks that kill Crash immediately when they touch him, won't that make uh, getting all the crates a little difficult? Well, they're like, okay, well, we'll, make, we'll invent a new crate that destroys all of those crates. Brilliant. You solve a crate with another crate. That's how you do it.
Whenever you have a problem, you throw a crate at it. All right, digging it. This is a, a level that I often think about when I uh, when I play the when I think about this game. I usually think about this level for better or worse. So you got plants that uh, blow stuff up. You know, they spit the exploders. they cower when Crash gets nearby because they know they are powerless to stop him. Oh, oh. I can't believe that didn't hurt me. Oh yeah, here's a wacky enemy. He like, you know, he switches expressions as he goes around. Oh, <laughs> oh man, the the best kinds of death and cr deaths in Crash Bandicoot are the kinds where it's it's a completely innocuous jump, and you just, you're just shy of it. That tends to happen a lot. I can't believe that still didn't hurt me. Truly, I am God. On this blessed day. <laughs> but, you know, this level ain't even partially over because we're only just now about to see its uh, chief gimmick. No, we still haven't seen it. Oh. So this is kind of just survive until the gate turns off. Yeah, we're pretty far in and we, we haven't even seen the the eponymous digging. Yeah, spoiler alert, that's the that's the gimmick of this level. Is that you get to dig. But it apparently takes you like 40 years in order to be able to do it. I think that crate bugged out ever so slightly. Oh, if you, uh, if you are, if you are skilled, but I don't, I don't trust anything. Okay, since it counts the nitro crates for some reason, I got everything. Oh god, not one of these. But, I mean, if we have the death route, we should probably go for that. I don't like that. <laughs> yeah, you remember that part where I said I didn't like that? I still don't like it. Okay, so there are crates on this path, so you do have to go here if you want to get the the gem. Okay, so there's a beehive. Bees, bee will emerge from the beehive. I will not make the jump.
this part is just all kinds of rude. Yeah, man, reminder that every crash is technically a new crash. The original crash died long ago. Hello, Greeny. You're missing all the failure. Work Bandicoot send tweet. No, I mean all jokes aside, I mean you just you just do whatever you gotta do. I mean you don't worry about it. Oh, checkpoint. Checkpoint in the death route. Where extra death rootiness. Well, I got an achievement for that. I can't tell if it's an achievement for getting the crystal. Or an achievement for getting stung by a bee, but I'll take it. Yeah, I mean, in all fairness, to be, to be completely fair to you, it does not look like you're supposed to be able to body slam them. Yeah, <laughs> they're trying to get you not to go back here. Feels like. Okay, yeah, I, I get the idea. I get it. I get. It. I get the idea. Crash is deathly allergic to bees. Now, please, now, please let me move on with my life. Move on with Crash's death, please. What, they got me? I wasn't I wasn't in there fast enough. I'm gonna have to do this if I wanna get the gym and I mean I see no reason to not save a trip and just do it the first go. Okay, that does not work as well as I thought it would. Yeah, see, so here's the digging we were told about. Oh, and the crystal. So yeah, ultimately be glad that we came back. Oh, so we got a checkpoint, so at least the crates we've already broken will stay broken. 
There's a lot of level back here. <laughs> Get to see all of Crash's lavish death animations. How much level can we fit? <laughs> yeah, this is kind of a pain in the butt. A pain in the beat. Dang it, I did it again. Yeah, I mean, I mean, 60 frames crash is a 60 frames of my death. Nope. You thought you had me. Nope. Okay, be ready for a B back here. God, I, I had my finger on the spin button. Okay, pity mask. My stomach is aching with pity. Thank you for taking the fall for me, Aku Aku. Okay, so I think the one where you bounce is the last one. Yeah, this one. That's the last one if I happen to die again. I already took care of the plants though, so at least I got that going for me. <laughs> Might as well be underground whenever the game will allow it. All right, get me out of here. Maybe I shouldn't have gotten that checkpoint, I don't know. Yeah, and we got dudes with mallets. In case what you were already seeing wasn't enough. Okay, there we go, into the level. That one's a gauntlet, let me tell you. Have you made a Mario joke about that one guy yet? No, so you can be the first. Cortex, we or Coco. Crash, I haven't got much time. Cortex has almost completed the new space station. Something's not right with his statements. Beware of the tricks he's trying. All right, so gonna save so I never have to go in there again. So let's go in there again.
Do I need to grab the clock at the beginning? No. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. I mean, I don't always know what I'm doing, but this time I know what I'm doing. I was hoping I could just squeeze through, maybe. So yeah, this is what it looks like if you go down this way the first time. And also have a mask. And also Crash doesn't want to leave the dirt, which is a problem for me. Okay, there we go. Don't worry, we're almost there. Alright, so you remember Road to Ruin? Well, here you go. So we know that there's no crates on the death path, so we don't have to worry about that. <laughs> yeah, so there's probably TNT in here somewhere. Yep, there it is. Because they know, because they knew some idiot like me was going to do exactly that. I jumped too early. Note, if I say it like that, it's gr it's great. <laughs> but now that you've said that, maybe not. Maybe I will say different things. Just making sure. Crate! Okay, so now we can get the gym from this level. We can play this level for real now.
Yes, yes, give me the fruit. Give me the fruit. kind of funny how some of the bonuses are just like right there in the level. Just hanging out. Monkey! Monkey has perished. Alright, we, we got it. We got it. Alright, so this is, this is the kind of thing that I, uh, left out of Crash 1, but I've decided for Crash 2 you get to see every, every little bit except for the relics. You get to see everything. Even the things, especially the things you don't want to see. Now, what do we got? Cold hard crash. And I'm going to assume there's a death route on this level. Got some snow. Got some invincibility that I brought in from like basically another level. Do I want to know what makes Crash cold and hard? Well, the snow, of course. Do the platforming challenges. I don't think I was supposed to be able to stand on that. No, of course not. Standing on air, that would be preposterous. I stood on the crystal. Okay, there we go. Hedgehog. 
So not only must Plumber Boy watch out, so must Hedgehog. The true video game alpha male has arrived. Ah oh, crap, I didn't I didn't avoid dying. I hope you don't have to go in there for the gym. If so, then I've got a predicament. Don't do it! Okay, it, it doesn't affect anything when you do it. That, I saw my life flash before my eyes there. Okay, that's not good. I don't like that that happened. Okay, well, it's, it's not that bad, actually. I don't think it's fair that he didn't blow up there. I think he should have. Okay, radical. Radical and bodacious. Me toes touch the nitro. <laughs> my my mistake. My mistake. My pinky toe touched the nitro. It's not allowed. I I'm pretty sure I just jumped off that nitro without dying. I could be wrong, but I think that's what just happened. Okay, now this is a predicament. Not even gonna consider going for that one up. I guess fruit lives again. I can't believe I lived. Staircase to heaven. Stairway to heaven. Music nerds do not kill. <laughs> yes, I have I have missed a significant portion of crates. But I kinda don't feel like doing that right now, so we'll come back for it. Ruination. Okay, do we have the green gem? We do. More ruins level. 
more banana monkey. I have no comment on that death. That death was a metaphysical anomaly. Yeah, see, he's being held in by that rat, so you don't actually want to remove the rat. You want to keep the rat so that he remains trapped. You know, it's, it's an old trick. It works in real life, too. We get to do more monkey platforming challenges and die. We get to die. That's that's a very important part. You might just like have to. You might just like have to spin them sometimes. That may be your only recourse. <laughs> I mean, hey, it's 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 pretty amusing. I find Crash Bandicoot a particularly amusing game. Why'd I do that? <laughs> you know, there's the lights are on, but no one's home. a good one right there. There might not actually be any crates on this path. No! No! <laughs> That's what I get for scratching my upper lip. I get what I deserve. Okay, I got him. This I don't like. These are like slippery and crash slides off of them and I don't like that about them. Thank you for this mask. No, no, give me the mask! I didn't know you could spin the mask! I hate the earth and all who inhabit it. Okay, I want to go back because if there's any chance I can get, you know, all the things in the level on the first go, I'm going to try.
I still get the crystal though. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I, dying actually works out in this particular instance. Because I get to keep the crystal and I get to look at everything I missed. Oh yeah, I, I know this part. This is a part that I recognize. I don't remember everything, but I remember this. No, I'm not even chancing it. Not even the TNT can break the metal reinforced crates. So that means, of course, that Crash's belly flop is stronger than dynamite. It's canon, you can't argue with me. Okay, we are behaving oddly here today. I like how you can hear the the angry gorillas from from the gym path. Or later in the level, either way. Yeah, it's it's cold out. Crash is uh don't worry, Crash, there's some fire up ahead. You can get nice and warm. Go back, you missed a fruit. No, I don't think I will. Well, I take... I guess I'm going back. Oh, that's cool. I touched like the very, the very end of the fire. I was unable to resist its charms. Oh, okay. You're not safe there. It looks like you should be safe there. You're not. That's something to remember. Okay, there we go. All right, so here's where the gym path let us off. 69, very nice. I don't like anything about how this arrangement is set up, especially not that. That part I like the least of all. It, it doesn't help that that thing is rotating 360 degrees, but I only have 8 degrees of movement. The Mario 64 DS dilemma. The enemy still has analog, but I do not. <laughs> Why'd I do that? Exactly how did these events become allowed to pass? Okay, thank god. Thank god, I thought, if I am missing one freaking crate, I'm going to like... I'm, I'm going to drown myself in my own toilet. Don't disrespect my man Mario 64 DS. I will. Because Nintendo it would have been so easy. Just put a little analog nub on there. Sony did it. So now we have what would otherwise be the definitive Mario 64 experience. But no, you just, no, no analog for you. 
Now, now people say that like it works better on 3DS or it works better on Wii U. It's still eight degrees of movement. Like, it might feel more natural because you have an analog stick, but it ultimately still is an analog. Oh, but yep, we have a return to this. You missed this. I didn't want to do that. That's the problem with the digging areas. Is that they override your uh, normal spin. Oh. oh, but now, now we got a whole swarm of these stupid things. Yeah, I, I can agree with Mario Sunshine having a... I'd say I kind of like Mario's moveset a little bit better in 64, but the physics are easier to work around in Sunshine. And you can actually, yeah, you can actually just like uh, swat all the bees. Maybe somebody should make, like, you know how there are those Metroid hacks that uh, make Super Metroid control more like the Game Boy Advance games? Maybe somebody should do that, but for uh, Mario 64 and make it control like Sunshine. Also, you may be thinking to yourself, this is a really weird place for a bunch of Nitro blocks. Yes, it is. You may also notice, like, okay, so if you weren't set, like, if you weren't clued in by the fact, if you weren't clued in by the fact that that's just a very odd place for a bunch of nitro blocks, they also do not, they do not bounce like the others. Yeah, that much I can agree with about 64. Yeah, that, that's the maneuver you have to do, right there. Maybe I should uh, go ahead a little bit and see if there's a checkpoint. Not an easy to get one. But yeah, see, these, these nitro blocks do not bounce. That's your, that's your other big cue that these are not real. I mean, also the uh, loading screen mentioning a clever deception, but that wasn't part of the original game. Oh, that's that's rad. That's cool. <laughs> Can't wait to do that part again. Yeah, I wish there was a checkpoint like right by this, but then again, that might that might have given it away too much. There we go. And now all the colored gems, I do believe. Yep. Now, technically speaking, now that you have the gem, you can just do this. And I get to keep it, so So there's no reason to go through the rest of that segment unless you just really want to see it. And then I'm going to have egg on my face and it's going to turn out that there were crates in there. 
Okay, checkpoint, please. So yeah, now we get the plants and the bees at the same time. And it's not fun. And I have no hit points. And I fell in a pit. I do have pit points. I'm a frequent flyer of pit airlines. I mean, granted, even if Cra <laughs> even if Crash wasn't allergic to bees, a stinger that big's gotta hurt. And I'm I'm not having I'm not having good luck with this level thus far. Okay, thank God. <laughs> this arrangement at all but it was fine that arrangement was a lot scarier looking than it actually was crystal obtained Nope, leave me alone. I will not be intimidated. There we go. There we go. Masterminded by Dr. Nitrous Brio, the inventor of the Evolver Ray. Brio was responsible for our misunderstandings in the past. He forced me to assist him in his plot for world domination, and he's at it again. He will attempt to stand in our way. Be on your guard, Crash. Deliver the crystals. To yeah, you know, actually, now that I think about it, maybe this Cortex guy is not so trustworthy. some wumpas at him. Oh, 
Oh no, he's at it again. Laser in. go there's one there's one part down also this is dr. engines debut His favorite drink is tequila. I don't know why you'd think it would be anything else. Yeah, I love getting one hit in per cycle. Oh, both down. Oh. <laughs> oh, well, gotta do the whole fight again. <laughs> Little cheap. Oh. <laughs> I tried to slide under that. You may not believe me. But it is the truth. Also, one thing the remake did was add an animation for Crash throwing the fruit. In the original game, it just appeared behind him. It's very difficult to hit those. Maybe not very difficult, but it's tricky. Yeah, this is one of those mash the button boss fights. That's okay. That's okay. Don't don't have any of the fruit hit him. That's fine.
Yeah, see, that's what I wanted. Okay, so note to self, he will try to electrify the platforms or do whatever it is he did to them. Oh! Come on, he was literally dying. Yeah, so something I gotta keep in mind is that if you throw the fruit, there's a bit of a cooldown before you're allowed to slide again. It'd be nice if I could throw them where I, where I want to do it do that see like it opens over there and it's like what are you supposed to do about that I can't do damage when he's over there Dustin have you ever genuinely raged in a video game I'm sure it's happened, but, you know, in, in, in my old age, it doesn't happen nearly as much as it used to. Yeah, big... Sonic Adventure's, like, big emblems are probably the closest I've gotten. But even then, I wouldn't say it's like... Like, ugh, Like, you know, like I'm actually... You know, it's only, it's only, it's only game. I mean, come on, let's, let's be fair. Engine's not that old. That being said, he absolutely licks dirt. I don't think, I don't think we can deny that. I like the fruit that Crash just throws out into the void. Into space. Because we're, vid we're a video game character, we gotta go to space. Mario's gone to space, Sonic's gone to space. Everybody's got to go to space. I mean, this fight isn't that bad, it's just absurdly punishing. It's like, dude, it's like, it's not, it's not that hard, but do not mess up. Oh, well, I got a pity mask at least.
Yeah, the Cortex fight is more just knowing what to do. Now, granted, I don't know if I remember what to do, but... I mean, that's kind of just how Crash Bandicoot's bosses are, really. Crash is one of those games where it's like the levels are what you come here for, the bosses are just kind of an afterthought because we needed a conflict. Sometimes it's the opposite, like sometimes you'll get a game where the bosses are the best part and the levels are just kind of like whatever and you're just you're just kind of you know speeding through the levels really fast like i consider kirby one of those games where it's like the levels you're just kind of like you're in no danger ever and then the bosses are the the really intense part But yeah, Sonic also has bosses that are kind of just meh. You know, they're just kind of there for the sake of conflict and not actually because the <laughs> they're any good. I mean, not to say Sonic's bosses are bad per se, but you can tell they're not the high point of the game is what all I'm getting at. Yeah, in Sonic Unleashed, there was definitely an attempt. There we go. All right, engines down. We're gonna we're gonna be pissing it away. Yep, uh let's just say there's a reason that they're not called very polite dog he did what in his cup hello how are things I checked out your dust and VG twitch channel uh, things are all right thank you for checking out the dust and VG twitch channel Oh, I, I, uh, you are a bot. <laughs> this man is a bot.
these guys are these robots are weird. Okay, would prefer not to die. Cause I think there's a death route. These are some weird robots. Oh, doesn't count as dying though. Did not count as dying. Okay, thank you for that. Oh, here you go, death root. Okay, so there are crates on the death root. Yeah, that's a tricky jump you have to do. You have to do that there. Tricky jump. I have just killed this man. Don't worry, Crash Bandicoot 3 implies that they're all robots. So don't worry, Coco is not a murderer. Yet. Oh, that's rad. Tell me that that <laughs> you can't tell me. You just can't tell me. Yeah, this is tricky because I, okay, uh, those those rays are rays of death. Okay, that <laughs> that hitbox takes a long time to leave. Yeah, you see, that's that's a. Because it's like you got this guy. Eh, okay, I guess that's what you do about that. What? What's your timing gotta be? I I feel I don't feel like it was like this in the original. Like I beat, I, I beat Crash 2 PS2. No. Nonsense. It's just pure nonsense. Like I said, I have a feeling that this is remake exclusive. And then I don't have enough. <laughs> I don't have enough. To get across. <laughs> and that, yeah, that's the thing. You got to go in confident on that one. Because if you go in unconfident then you don't get the thing you don't get the distance you need uh, sometimes if even if you go in confident it's just not gonna work oh went in too early I forgot I think I need to do like a slide jump on that one. Oh, that's cool. Just land on it right as soon as the hitbox appears. Literal 
<laughs> literal frame. I can't believe that that worked. Mm, there we go. I don't even care about that guy. I wonder if it's because you're playing as Coco. It could be. Either way, I think that'll be it for me right now. I've been going for about two hours. And I got a a program coming on in a in a little bit, so just let me let me save. What's, what's going on? Let my mouse, let, me, let it go. Alright, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for showing up. Thanks for doing stuff.